JobPro gives you the ability to import certain types of data into the system, like companies and contacts, inquiries or sales leads, and products and services. So when you've downloaded JobPro, in the download folder, you'll see a folder called Import Files. If we have a look in that, in here there's some predefined spreadsheets that you can populate with your own data and then within Job Pro you can run an import option to select those spreadsheets and import that data. You can use this initially when you're using Job Pro or on an ongoing basis if for example you want to populate any sales leads and inquiries from other databases you can do that and import into your current system. So for example if we take a look at the import contacts spreadsheet here we can see that we've got these predefined columns company name whether a company is a customer or a supplier and various other options across the screen all the way over to the contact name and details for contacts okay so if we have a look back here each cell usually has a comment as well that's worth looking at for example the company name mentions that the import fun functionality in the system allows you to enter in multiple contacts for the same company by simply repeating the company name and entering in a different contact on each row. The address, phone, fax, etc. for the first instance of the same company will be used for the new company record. In other words, only repeat the exact company name in all of the rows for each contact. So it's worth looking at each of the comments for each of these areas. For example, if you want to flag a company or a contact as a customer, well then you enter in one into the customer or supplier uh, columns as well if a company is a supplier. And you can actually specify that a company is both a customer and a supplier by doing that in both of those. So once you've populated your spreadsheet by simply copying and pasting in your own data, then you go back into Job Pro and you click on Setup and then you select Import from the General tab. Now the Import Options, as mentioned, gives you the ability to import inquiries and leads, contacts and companies, and products and services. It's important to note that you should not change the order of the columns in the spreadsheets as that will cause data to be imported into incorrect fields in the system, although the system will warn you if you try and do that. It's also worth backing up as well before you do any sort of importing. Okay, so if for example we want to import from the contacts or company spreadsheet, you simply would click on the, this option and then when prompted you'd select the import spreadsheet that you've already populated and saved. If you have any requirements for data importing that's not covered in these spreadsheets, well then contact us and we can help you organize, get that data into your system so you don't have to manually enter in any data. In some cases we might need to create f new fields or functionality related to the data that you'd like to bring into the system. For example, historical data to do it, whether it's orders or jobs, anything at all we can help you with.